Hello and welcome to Pile Aquatics. What I have here is a new system that I kind of came up with. Obviously it was uh, a lot of Master Dean's influence on this type of system. And also a little bit of Lucas Brett's LRB Aquatics. Kind of some of the stuff he was doing kind of made me come up with this idea. I was going to clean everything all up, make it look nice and neat, but you know what? This is what it is. I'm not going to do all that. So, alright. What I've got and what I've done is I took this down here is a uh, some of the Tupperware that you would not really Tupperware I guess it's like a uh, container that you would put sweaters in or something underneath your bed and I got this one at Lowe's this is a four foot just about four foot long not, not quite four foot because this tray when this rack it's on is a four foot baker's rack and what I did is I went and got a, a pond pump I'll, I'll uh, add some video of the uh, actual model and everything. I think I saw the paper, I mean the box it came in. But it's just a pond pump, a cable, you know, head, head height of about three, four feet. That's way more than you need. This one's got, I don't know how many gallons per hour, 250 or something. You don't need any, anywhere near that. So any kind of pump. Now this is what I've put in front of the filter, just kind of an extra filter to keep some of the junk out of the, out of the filter. On the bottom, is a substrate. This is decomposed granite, is what I like to use. Uh, you go out Home Depot Lowe's, extremely dirty. You have to wash and wash and wash to get it clean. It takes forever, it's not much fun. So, coming off of, it comes with a fitting, it's a half inch fitting. So, it comes out of the fitting, and I just put a small piece of half inch pipe. Let's see if I can get down there. Yeah, that's a better view. Uh, half inch pipe and put some pipe clamps, stainless steel pipe clamps on here. And then the one thing I would change is this is brass. I need to take this off and go plastic with this. I'm not sure what this is going to do metal wise in the water. Should be okay, but since it's sitting in the water, water's not just passing through it, it might be an issue. But that's easy enough to change out. And then that, I didn't even put any kind of tape or anything on this because you know it's in the water. If it leaks a little bit, so what? And it comes into a threaded by slip half inch this is just a half inch piece of PVC pipe drilled me some holes in it got some of these from Gemco and what they are is they're threaded on one side and barbed on the other so you can put uh, airline tubing or actual you know a little bit of irrigation tubing whatever you want on there and drill the holes out so they're just a little bit small and then put the the uh, valve on the on the, the barbed end inside your drill and just drill it right in and take it off that's the easiest way to, to do that and these really don't leak when you do that now these valves will probably leak they're probably not the greatest valves if you didn't want it to leak but it's underwater so it doesn't matter if it leaks a little bit who cares um, and what I've done here well these are just extra tubing so the way I have it set up is the first tube is the bottom layer the second tube is the second layer and I was gonna go third three high I still probably can, but I'll show you in a second. I need to reinforce the shelving because it's bowing a little bit weird in the middle. Kind of flexes and the middle sinks in. I need to put a piece of uh, plywood down and that would fix that problem. So I need to drain all the water out, slide it underneath it here, then I can go a little higher. But it works good so far. So, and also for a standoff, I use some egg crating. And then this is an inch and a half PVC pipe underneath it there. Yeah, it's kind of standoff. See if I can see through it. Yeah, there you go. Kind of see how that's set up. It's pretty straightforward. And then I just usually I leave a couple of these open, like this one doesn't have anything on it, it's open just to help release the pressure and get a little extra circulation. Oh, you see, I should open that one up. Thought I had it open. Now I don't want it all the way open. Just open a little bit. Get some water flowing through it. And that works really well. Uh, let's see. Let's go up to the top. So yeah, these are just some of my couple of axle bottles in here. Seems to be working okay. My room is a little warm for them, so I didn't have very good luck. Uh, there's nothing in these two. And these are Ophiobranchus. Force and eye. And we'll take a look inside and show you how I have these set up. But first, I guess I'll show you what I've done. So the lids, I just took and this is actually uh, melted with a, a wood burning tool that I took the end off of, got a piece of copper wire about this long or so, shoved the copper wire in there so the whole copper wire gets hot. 
then I can take and burn through plastic really easily. And it works really well. So this is just a feeding hole. This is where you want to feed it at. Back here, what I've done is I just put a hole, melted a hole, that is just barely fits and a little running a little low. I like this coming out so fast it's not a stream, it's just barely a drip, just starts dripping. So that's way too low. I'll have to adjust that here in a minute. But I'll tell you what, we're gonna I'll pause the video now and I'll get down through and show you what the inside looks like. Okay, so this is what the inside will look like. Yes, I like mommy bottoms. It seems to work so much better for raisin fry. I've had way better luck here. Should be some force in our eye. Yeah, there's a few frost shooting around in here. He's not even a month old yet. But as you can see, what I did is I took a half inch piece of PVC pipe that's threaded here. There's a washer in the back. I think it's a number 15 washer. And then back here is a uh, 90 degree half inch elbow. And I put a piece of tubing on the back. I'll show you that in a second. This is the top layers, and the way I do, for the reason I do this, so the water goes out, and it'll kind of shoot past and won't hit the one on the bottom, but it's not working right, I've got to do a little tweaking on that. So, the bottom row is done a little differently. This is just a hole that I melted, I'll show you, it's just a slit in the back, so we can get in there. So this is just a slit that I cut in the back, and then I took a piece of this foam, that's designed for filter, like a, like a matten filter or something like that. That's what it's designed for. And what you do is you cut a slit in it down deep, not all the way through, just part way. So the center is solid in the middle. So you can slide it in here, and it's on both sides of the front and back. What I've found, even though my the hole, if you look, the actual hole starts way above the water line. If this touches the water, it wicks up through and goes through the back. So it lowers your water level down to the lowest point of your foam. Not necessarily the hole in your back. So if I was going to do this again, I would raise this up a little bit to get a little bit more depth in here. It's not a big deal. And I put a decomposed granite in the bottom of here. A little bit of the cocoa core that was in with the, with the uh, eggs. And moss. And I like algae. Algae works so good. Look how many babies are in here. There's fry everywhere in this tank, in this container. I put 50 in here. We're gonna see how many I actually get out of this. But man, this is working so good. The beauty of this system is I don't have to get in here and clean it all the time and just disturb them and stress them out. So their stress level is gonna be much less. Let me show you the back of this. Okay, this is not perfected yet. This is one attempt just with it coming out and dripping down. As you can see, it hits below. And the next one is just a piece of PVC pipe that I've melted and bent. And it kind of works pretty decent. The flow's got to be turned up a little more on that. There's nothing in that container. And you can see back through there, a couple different designs. I'm still tweaking on that. Okay, so I hope you like this. If you have any questions, please let me know. But this seems to be working really well. Uh, I don't have to change, do water changes all the time. Because all that filter media in the bottom, basically it's all filter media, is taking care of all my problems. Uh, once every couple weeks, I've got to change water early. I've got to change more for hormone levels than anything. But it seems to be working really well. The the valves get clogged a little bit sometimes. And all you do is just work the valve a little bit and it'll blow the clog. Um, if you want to see, if you look down the side and you start seeing your water level rise, you know it's getting plugged in the back. Uh, you can actually see through. You see the water dripping in, so that tells you, you can see real easily, make sure it's dripping fine, which that one's great now. And yes, I like mold, and I figure it's working much better. I am actually have more eggs, well not more eggs, looks like my survivability is much better with the decomposed granite bottom inside the container than a no, than it's the plain bottom. So we'll see if that hold, keeps holding true. Thank you, and uh, let me know if you have questions.